Hello and what's up? I'm with psychedelic rock band Dead Meadow. I'm Steven, I play the drums. I'm Steve, I play bass. And I'm Jason, I play guitar and sing. <laughs> What exactly is psychedelic rock? It's hard. I think it's a term that gets misused so much, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't even know. It uh, has a lot of levels to it, I'd say, Definitely. you know, where you can really get inside of it, and there's, you know, different things are going on. There's a lot of stuff to zone out. The classification of stoner rock, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, it seems like we got that a lot when we first started, and now, you know, as the band kind of has gone different places, and uh, as we progress and the albums have come out, I've kind of moved away from what people term stoner rock. What made you guys get into 70s hard rock slash psychedelic rock? Like, you know, when like pop punk bands are really in, like, it's I, interesting. I think that's exactly what made us get into it, you know? Just that what was going on at the mm -hmm. time was really leaving us all feeling like we wanted something more. You have a really great storytelling ability like with your with your lyrics, and I hear that you guys are influenced by J.R.L. Tolkien. Sometimes it's cool to use, you know, you can use some far out imagery, you know, much like maybe J.R.L. Tolkien did, to talk about things that are going on right now. So then how does this, uh, the songwriting process go? Do you kind of have something in mind, like, you know, that you want to, like, aim for, and then you get there, or it just happens, like, organically? Sometimes it's just us playing, and we'll come mm -hmm. on it, or sometimes, you know, uh, maybe it's a little song idea I have, and then, but, then we start playing and then it completely changes, you know, and everyone comes up and figures out their part. And so I guess you are influenced by things that happen in your life. Moving from DC to LA, did that play a part in your music? Well, we could never be doing uh, something like we're doing right now, making a, a movie album combination. We couldn't do that in Washington, DC. That's because your current project right now, it's called Three Kings. We were basically sharing a space with these video producer mm -hmm. guys, and so they filmed one of the shows that we played at that space. And then they wanted to make a Song Remains the Same kind of concert film from that footage. Well, you guys have also been a band for over 10 years. You don't really think about it as you're doing it at the time. But like now looking back over the years and seeing like, oh, I remember when we did this or when we came up with this thing or like, or uh, you know, rented these goats. We thought they were going to be more satanic, like goats, you know, but they were... <laughs> They're yeah, goats! You know. They're so cute, tiny mini goats! Thank you so much, guys. They are Dead Meadow. Make sure to check out Three Kings. It's out now, because you're going to be watching it when it's out. Thanks, guys. Thank you. B-Sides. Monday nights at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific, only on Mix.